Hi, my friend. Let's play another rapid game. We are going to play what is called this is English symmetric, almost symmetric, not symmetric. <laughs> it's uh, it transposed to my roxibine uh, to my eyes. Perhaps plays e4. So it's not bad to know different openings so that. You know the transpositions between the openings. Initially, I expected to see boring English, but it's not boring English. It's more like boring Marxivine. So, against uh, Dragon, Sicilian Dragon. Initially, it wasn't Sicilian Dragon, but right now it turned to a Sicilian Dragon. Now, it's important what's the plan of um white i'm thinking about queen a5 but on the other hand i'm concerned about if he pushes the pawn no matter what let's play queen a5 is maybe not the best move when the knight is on c7 because can push to my queen soon with one or two move but I want to relocate my rook, place my rook on c8. Also, it's not clear if I put my rook on c8, my f rook on c8, because it all depends how he wants to push the pawn. So I want to exchange my knight with his knight. I think his knight is much better than mine. Mine is doing nothing. It's staring at the wall. So let's exchange it. And... Now I'm okay. I'm okay with him pushing to my queen. I can actually uh, I can actually bring the rook attack the c pawn and when he pushes I go to d8 the queen. If he pushes uh, to b4 It's not very good because he has a chance to play f4 at some point and usually it's better to have queen at c8 uh, to be lined with bishop. If he pushes f4 then we can do something but the reason I didn't care too much about it is that his queen is on c2. If he pushes f4 I immediately offer a bishop exchange. Of course, first he should defend his um, c pawn by some means, and then if he pushes f4, I immediately offer exchange. So I can also offer bishop exchange right away. For example, right now he should defend the c pawn. I guess he pushes to c4 5. And of course, I don't want to take it because I just let his bishop to get in. I don't do anything. I offer bishop exchange because my bishop then is doing nothing much except being target of pawn push in the king side in a, in a short while. So that's a strange and uh, something is strange here. Now I can push b6. I can push b6 and prevent him from pushing c4 and c5. That's a strange. He let me actually I don't need to push it. I can just reposition my knight to attack. I can I'm even thinking about playing a6 but a6 sounds very weakening. Yeah, I can reposition my knight to attack actually to his uh, c pawn i'm thinking about this scenario knight d7 then knight b6 to attack the c pawn and it's not easy to defend it uh, uh, okay what is the counterplay it's uh, not easy to defend it he has counterplay in c after knight d7 he plays f4 after knight b6, 
he first takes my knight and then plays uh, and then I guess plays f5 plays f5 hmm. let me think what to do I can uh, actually directly add more attack here by playing queen c7 the reason I didn't do that earlier was that he can once I play queen c7 he plays knight d5 and this is a dream position for this uh, positional players to place their knight with a d5 with turret and I don't want to give him this chance maybe I just ask him ask a question from his bishop I instead of going passively with d7 with knight I go to g5 g4 attacking his bishop of course I give him a chance to exchange his um, white escort bishop with my knight but my knight is also not doing that great so let's do it let's go there and ask some questions and see what does that bishop doing there it's not just seeing what the bishop is doing there I am also next move I'm saying that I go knight e5 and and you have you have no way to defend it do you have any way to defend it are you sure so I go knight e5 he places knight in e5 knight uh, d5 to defend the c pawn can i take it anyways not sure if i can but what i'm sure is that his position is very shaky then. so what to do hmm clearly i don't want to make my knight to be target of his uh, attacks so i move the knight anyways and maybe i exchange my bishop with his um, knight because yeah knight is too far advanced or i don't need to do that i just uh, reposition my knight and attack his queen oh let's do it i don't need to rush i can also play position and we are flexible at some point i should make some pawn push not just peace maneuver because yeah i should decide what i want to do with this game now i'm saying that i want to fork your queen and bishop let me know what you prefer i guess he will move the bishop anyways but if you leave the uh, c4 square undefended then i will attack that c4 uh, pawn yeah i mean maybe i go for the row because i don't like this type of play and this player should show some uh, again i repeat this position and bam, he cannot uh, go away because i take the c pawn and he doesn't want to let me get in with the knight so also he put his knight in a very good square i don't want to give him a chance to enjoy life so we may go for the red arrow we can always win right sometimes this happens I mean, if with white you want to close the game, what can I do with the black? Okay, he goes back. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Finally, he pushes and he gives up the knight. And we open up the game because we have a bishop pair. Maybe it was a bit premature, but it's a bishop pair, right? We should open up the game.
maybe I was a bit excited about the position. Don't know. So mm, let me defend my f pawn because if I take right no takes with the queen attacks my bishop moving bishop allows him to win my f pawn. So let me defend the f pawn and then. And then I will take the e pawn. Then he cannot take back. This is a problem. Because I will fork the queen and rook. Also, he cannot take my pawn. Um, this is uh, here. I have initiative. So I should try to hold it. Okay, he wants to take it with the queen right now. It's okay. But as still, we are doing very well. He, of course, can give a check. But who cares? Oh, I don't want to go to opposite side in bishop endgame. He wants to take with the check. I cannot move my king too much. Or can I? Do I have mobility of moving my king? I don't think so. I cannot play king f7. So I cannot play king f7, right? Because it says check with the queen at d5. And that's not what we want. I cannot play king h8, can I? If I play king h8, queen says check. I attack the queen, queen goes away. And my attack also goes away. If I take the knight, takes with the queen, I take back, takes with the rook. I take the c pawn, takes my... Um, takes my b pawn I don't need to take his c pawn so I think this is a dangerous spot to be in we just take it I mean what do you think bro <laughs> you don't have any option just to take it no I think I should take this one this guy is not good here to be here and then I should defend my pawn, I believe. And then go for the C pawn. Or at least try to win the C pawn. So I take the C pawn. I should be careful a little bit here. I should not losing the rook. I also can think about giving up a rook for a bishop. Maybe it's not a good decision. Just don't do that. This time if it says check, I go behind and then I attack the rook. Ah, he wants to throw. He wants to throw. I cannot go to the open file, can I? If I go to open file, he brings the rook in with check. I go up. Maybe it's not bad. My king is better. Let's go in. Let's go in. He wants a draw. I mean... That's shame. With white playing for the row. Oh, uh, can can understand players. Be a bit brave. I uh, why I didn't try to draw because I have a very good king, centralized king. If it's not getting mated, then <laughs> it's very good. I mean 
for advanced king and I have a very strong D pawn That's, that pawn is very 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 strong it's a pass pawn it's not easy to deal with it and yo so what I want to do now is to offer some exchange a pair of rook so that I'm not getting mated in the middle of the board I, I think he does an exchange of course he pushes the pawn perhaps or he moves the rook backward I don't know what exactly he can do actually Maybe I don't need to exchange the rooks. Maybe I just attack the weak f1. The good thing is that he cannot use his uh, back rank rook to deliver any kind of mate. So no, I think it's safe to take that rook and then place this rook behind the pawn. Try to win that pawn. Maybe it's a little bit greedy. I was thinking to play bishop. Uh, yeah, I was thinking to play bishop. Okay, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm doing a good job right now. I'm not sure if I'm doing a good job right now. I feel I'm blockading his bishop, but maybe my feeling is wrong. And I feel I have a good pawn here. Second pass pawn. So, I think I did a mistake. I did a big, big mistake. But it's happening all the time to all good players like me. <laughs> Just joking. I'm no, no good at anything. So, we blocked all his pawns. But it's time for him to move the bishop. Let me place my bishop in a better spot. Try to win his bishop. Okay, he took the draw eventually. I mean, I can just... Ah, that was bad. I shouldn't have done that. Ah, sad. Sad story. Sad story. Let me try it. Okay, sorry. Sorry, guys, I'm showing this to you because I hate these positional players. I mean, with white, you try to get the row. Ah. Sorry, guys. Wasn't a good game. Let me just analyze. The, I think here I was winning. I was completely winning. No, it wasn't. At least after exchanging pair of rook? No, it wasn't. So, yeah, here is clearly winning. I was thinking about first, I was thinking about bishop uh, e5, e4, and then he takes. I couldn't take, I should take this pawn. But then I thought that I will lose my beautiful pawn in the center, and yeah. I didn't play that, but then let me go. I feel I was winning at some point in the game. I did the best moves, all the best moves, but still it didn't work. This wasn't the best move. Yeah, this was very bad. This was very bad understanding by me. I mean, king should go in and stop his king. And I don't know. Okay, one reason that I didn't do that was that I was blocking my own bishop. And I didn't want that. And wait one, if he plays this, I, can I just simply push the pawn, for example, like this? And for example, like that. 
and then try to push uh, who is faster here push 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 okay i didn't calculate this line i was what was my thought was that i'm blocking if i go king e5 a4 sorry i will block my bishop i cannot stop him from queening but uh, anyways, apparently the game was the rush all the time. And we did good job actually against a positional player, Mark Sebind. Okay, it's written written English symmetrical variation, but actually transposed to Mark Sebind. Uh, Liches believes it is English symmetric. This is what I believed at the start, but uh, engine doesn't understand what happens in the transpositions, unfortunately. But it is basically Maroxibine, this structure, let me go back. This structure basically is Maroxibine. Now let's go back here. This is famous, infamous Maroxibine. It's uh, famous that black cannot penetrate in the uh, camp of white. And black shows should play carefully to not lose. Or wait for white's blunder. And I played okay, I believe. And I did the good piece maneuvers. And yeah, here it was the point that I was thinking is the Royish. And here I had a win. I had a win. I took the bishop, but I had to take the knight. What if he was taking this one? Then I was going simply back. Takes this one. And then we win some material here. He does have time to take this, yes, but we say check and win material. Wow, what a miss by me! But it was complicated, right? I mean, it's a lot of pawn moves. I mean, I take here, he also has another option taking with that pawn. Then, of course, the queen goes out, and then what's the continuation? What's the advantage here? Oh, no, still, I don't see the advantage. Hmm? What's the advantage? It's very difficult. You need to see. Uh, I mean, rook c7. Rook c7. <laughs> Can you see that? Okay. Uh, it wants to double the rooks. But I mean, it's too deep. Too deep to see it in a 10 minute game. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. It wasn't a tactical game. It was just positional. But yes, we also can play positional game against positional players. And they are strange. They want to draw. I don't get it with white going for the row they are like this type of players that they wait for your blunder with white if you don't blunder then they want draw that's it don't be such players be play active at least with white play active okay guys hope you enjoyed we try to play better next time and see you next time